you've got the space to pay him. You've got the space for him to be in the organization. Now, again, we don't know the details of the deal that propo that was proposed to Roquan Smith, but Roquan Smith absolutely took it as disrespectful, not only to him, but to the linebacker. Uh, uh, he said that it would be um, an issue for the linebacker community. Now, here's from Adam Schefter. Uh, per, per Shefty, among the frustrations detailed by Smith, Roquan Smith has lost trust by what he believes are their attempts to take advantage of him. So you you would feel like there's a low-ball deal on the table, maybe from Ryan Poles. He feels the entire process hasn't been a negotiation, just the Bears trying to strong-arm him with a take-it-or-leave-it deal. Uh, the backloaded offer, which wouldn't which wouldn't make him the highest paid in actual salary. So we do have the deal here. So here's the deal. The backloaded offer, which wouldn't make him the highest paid in actual salary, included uh, proposed de-escalators that not a single player out of the 94 non-QB 15-plus million contracts has. He was offended the deal wouldn't hurt the deal would hurt the linebacker market as a whole. So apparently, right, there were de-escalators that would bring his money down if he didn't meet these different criteria. Now, listen, for me, that is disrespect. You don't put de-escalators in Roquan Smith's deal. That's an L on polls. Again, I don't know what, we don't know what the number is, but that's an L on polls. You don't put de-escalators in Roquan Smith's deal. He's been a dominant player for this franchise. He's been a dominant player for this NFL franchise. And you're going to throw de-escalators in his deal? What is that? Are you kidding me? I don't know what the number was you offered him. But Roquan Smith has led the NFL in multiple statistical categories. He's been one of the best linebackers in multiple statistical categories. This tells me if you're putting de-escalators in his deal, that then you didn't want him. You knew he wasn't going to take that. You knew he wasn't going to take that. You knew he didn't want he he wasn't going to sign a deal that did that. Not only for him, but for the rest of the people around the NFL that can get big money. You knew he wasn't going to do that. And you're talking about did I read that right? Did he say that this deal would not make him the highest paid in actual salary? So you're talking about he's not even setting the market. He's a good enough player to set the market. He's not even setting the market. You're not paying him more than nine. You, you didn't want to pay him more than 19 million a year. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. That is a, uh, that's an interesting take on it. Um, trying to see if there's any more news that's kind of come out on that. That that hurts. That hurts your team. That hurts your team in the long run. He's 25 years old. Now, listen. I'm not saying that you can't find a guy in the future that can be this player, but this player exists in your organization right now. I'm not saying that you can't go out there and find a guy that that is a player of this level that exists in your organization, but he's in your organization right now. He's already on the team. He already played. He's here. He's a bear. He's developed. Wow. That's uh listen, I get I get if you're going the I I don't even know. 